Hi there. This is the Old School Fish Guy, also known as Don. Today I want to talk about half-breeds. <laughs> um, I've seen this controversy running around for a while now. I've seen it on some YouTubes. I've seen it more so on Facebook where they're going to have an actual conversation. I've seen it in a couple of groups. Um, and one guy uh, this week posted it right on his uh, timeline. Confused some of his non-fish keeping friends. Um, there are a lot of people out there that to are totally objection that that totally object to uh, crossbreeding various fish, and they say it pollutes the gene pool. Blah blah blah. Blah, 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 blah. You want their arguments? Go ahead and go find them. I get it. I do. If you cross two fish, then you create something else. And if you want something identical to what's in the wild, then you ain't going to get it. But that's a bit of an elitist attitude, really. Um, and here, here's what I have to say about it. You know, um, mixing breeds isn't unique to the fish hobby, okay? I mean, look at dogs. Uh, do you really think there was a wild dog that looked like a poodle? Or a chihuahua? Well, maybe. We call them rats. <laughs> um... Evolutionists, geneticists, scientists of all types tell us that in the wild there's probably just very few types of dogs. And over the many, many centuries, a great deal of crossbreeding and inbreeding and rebreeding and underbreeding, overbreeding and uh, breed breeding uh, produced what we have today. Um, what about humans? <laughs> if somebody asks me what I, my nationality is, I tell them I'm half Swedish, quarter Norwegian, an eighth German, and an eighth Scotch. And that makes me almost a purebred compared to my wife, because I can't begin to recite the list of what she's made up of. Uh, humans are half-breeds. Almost humans, there are a few people that claim to be purebred, in various races. Um, I bet if we take their DNA test uh, with one of those TV shows, commercials, whatever, we'd find out that humans have been interbreeding for uh, thousands of years. Hmm. And this is true of many animals, many plants. Um, just for the fish keepers, how about bettas? You know, we say, oh, I want a betta splendens. Uh, and, you know, I just want the pure original. Well, no, you don't. You want the colorful one that you find in the store, which is not original, and it's probably not pure betta splendens anyway. Um, they, they have been crossbred for centuries. And that's how you get the fish we have today. Um, <clears throat> angelfish. The freshwater angelfish. There are three, three species in pterophyllum. Let me tell you, almost all the angelfish we buy today for our fish tanks are crossbreeds. Two, if not all three, of those genes are crossbred together. So getting all elitist about keeping your Rift Lake cichlids or whatever um, pure is kind of silly. Do these fish crossbreed in the wild? Not normally but it does happen and there's no doubt of that. Um, I always look at it this way, 
And for those who don't know, I'm not an evolutionist. I'm a creationist, pure and simple, no apologies. I believe in God Almighty created the heavens and the earth in six days. And uh, he, he did certain things like a horse and a donkey. When you crossbreed them, it produces a sterile offspring that cannot reproduce. God did not intend for a horse and a donkey to reproduce. If God had not wanted blacks and whites to reproduce, he would have made the offspring sterile. If God had not wanted the different angel fish to crossbreed, he would have made the offspring sterile. That's my viewpoint. Take it or leave it. And stop stressing over whether some elitist is calling you a bad fish keeper. Relax. Don't argue with them. Chuckle. Have fun. Bye.